guys, there has never been a better time that I have seen to begin investing in yourself. If you've thought about starting a business, expanding your business, improving your business, adding equipment to your business, I would say right now is the time to absolutely go for it. If you have a dream, a vision, something you've wanted to do, do it right now. This is Tim's dream truck. We're gonna show you what we bought and why, how we bought it and why we bought it because there's a right way and a wrong way to buy as well. So walk me through this, Tim. What did you pick up? It's a 2022 F-250 Lariat diesel. Diesel, so we're upgrading to the diesel Lariat. So here's the thing. It's not about the price that you pay for the truck. Here, hold that real quick. It's about the price that you can sell the truck for when you're done. So Tim got a really fancy truck because it was go it's going to give us the best resale value. Is that right? That's what we're hoping for. That's it. So what the value is when we're finally done with it. But the key is we can't like, give this truck to the employees and let them beat the crap out of it. Open it up. Let's take a look inside. So yeah, it's fancy and Tim says, oh, it's too fancy for me. That's what you said, isn't it? Seems too fancy, yeah, but it's nice. So we've got the full sunroof, we've got a full power package, leather, upgraded an F-250, but this isn't the only truck we bought. We got another one, but that'll be in another video, and it's a little different than this one, so it's not identical to this one. So what was the original price on this truck, Tim, when they first sold it? $98,000 when it was brand new. And what year is this one? 2022. So it's two years old. About a use. Now how many miles? It's got 37,000 on it. 37,000. The only thing, and are those the stock rims? No. So I saw a picture at the dealership and they had little tiny steel rims with bald tires on it. So whoever brought it in took their good rims off and traded it in or sold it with the small. So the place that I bought it from put these rims and tires on it or had it on there when I went and looked at it. Okay, so they up upfitted it a little bit. Let's take a look under the hood. Sure. Now he's got door controls on it right here. Now, question, why not a ram? Um, so I had a ram. I had a Ford, had a Chevy, and I had a Dodge. So the, a ram. The ram. Yep. And the Ram uh, went through a transmission at about 100,000 miles. It was it was gone. The yep. Ram's a it was a good truck, but it's it's uh, it ate up front ends. They all do, but that that Ram, I think I was on my third set of ball joints. It's got 120,000 miles on it right now, and I think I got three sets of ball joints on the driver's side, two sets on the passenger side, a couple sets of wheel bearings. Uh, had the front end Ram had a recall in the 2018 Ram had a recall on the sway bar Linkage I think it's called but they welded the nut so then when you go to get it aligned you, They have to take you got to get a whole brand new piece and that was another 700 bucks And I was just kind of getting sick of putting so much money into it and it just gave me a bad taste about Ram and, and then so We bought two trucks this year. You'll see the second one in another video here but in 2018, we bought two trucks as well. Yep. Two Rams. And the other Ram, tell me about that one. Because that was my personal truck. And then I sold it to the company. So I basically just transferred it out of my name into the company name. And then what happened with that truck? It just has electrical issues. Show ABS stuff going on in the, on the, in the, on the instrument cluster. So you come out and you open up the fuse box and you push the fuses down and then it goes away. So the fuses kind of keep working themselves uh -huh. up and out. We actually had that happen one time when we were going down the road after we got a Heinecker snowplow installed. Okay. Now, this is the third, is this the third time we bought two sets of trucks? Third yeah. time. Because the first time was what, those two Fords? It was in 2015. 2015. And tell me the story about that one Ford because that one Ford has been a living we still own it it's going away it's gonna get sold auctioned off or something it's good it's good to go now too but yeah I, I think I it, it was a living nightmare long story short how many months was it out of commission 
Oh, that one, the, the extended cab. Yeah, that got fixed, but it was, uh, a mouse got in there. But it was out uh, on a plow site, and you'd go to start it, it'd start, and it'd shut itself off in five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes sometimes, and then you couldn't get it to start again, and uh, didn't know what was going on, so it was basically a uh, mouse got into the engine bay somewhere. And ate a couple it was out of commission for eight months. Oh, eight months, yeah, yeah. We couldn't use it for snow plowing, yeah, that's what... Yeah. Long story short, but yeah. we, we could not even use the truck for eight freaking months because Ford did not have the right wiring harness to get the truck back operational. They, they finally got it right. So he bought an extended cab. So we've had problems with both of our Ford gassers. 2015 Ford gassers, problems with both of them. What, what was the problem with the other Ford gas? Just, uh, I think we put new springs in it because those got wore out and front end stuff. Uh, boy, I can't remember everything. I mean, we had a catalytic converter cut off of that one, so we had to redo that. Um, God, I can't think off the top of my head. We, yeah, I put, I got a, I think I put probably around 20 grand into that truck over the life of it. Right. So yep. I just yep. can't think of everything. So. And they're good to go now. No, but they're it good was, to go now. But the, it was the nickel and diming that led us to go, hey, you know what? There's got to be a better route. So why diesel? What's the, what's the just, point with diesel? I feel like they hold their resale better, and I think they hold up to what we do better. Yes, for, yes. Longevity. The other trucks were both all gassers, and they're, I always call them a throwaway truck. You use it. And at the 100,000 mile mark, you better get rid of it or it's going to nickel and dime you to death. And that's exactly what's happened with every single one of those gassers, isn't it? Yep. Every single one of them. Because we kept them too long. We held on to them too much. We should have gotten rid of those trucks. And you start to think, oh, you get a little problem here, a little problem there, and oh, you'll get that fixed, you'll get through it. But you never get through it because something else always comes up. What else do you want to say about this truck, Tim? Well, I'm still getting used to it. Yeah. It's, uh, nicest truck I ever owned in my whole life. So it's going to be hard to turn it into a snowplow truck. <laughs> <laughs> Got to pay the bills. It's going to get turned into a snowplow truck real quick. It, it's going to earn its keep. It's not a toy. And it's not a lawn decoration. It's not no. going to sit and look pretty in your lawn so you can go to all your friends. Here, look at me. Look at my truck. Look how pretty yeah. it is. <laughs> no, baby. She's going to have a hitch put on the back. Do you need a hitch? Yep, we're going to get a hitch for it. You don't have one? Uh, well, I got one off the ramp. But... Oh, you got one? Okay, I got an extra Gen Y in the garage if you need one. But yeah, that's it. That's our truck story. It's not about the price you pay. It's about the price that you can sell the truck for when its time is through. And... We did not time it right, and we had a living nightmare with the extended cab F250 2015. Living nightmare. Eight months of no work at all. The uh, 2018, 2015 single cab truck, what was it? How much money did we invest into that thing? I want to say I put like 20 Gs into that. Tw I gotta look at the mechanical records of what we did to it, but it's, uh, it was a bit of work. 20 G for a truck that wasn't isn't worth 20 G. It's worth. Yeah. It's not even worth that now. Then the Ram truck, which was equivalent to this, which was a what year? Uh, 2018. 2018, you put, and you were the sole driver, so nobody yep. else had it. Three front ends into it, you said? Uh, three, three, three ball joints on one side and two on the other, and, and wheel bearings, three sets. Yeah, three rebuilds on the front end. So the Ram were nickel and diamond us, That's electrical good. problems. I'm jealous now, there's mine over there but it's only a gasser, but I'll, I'll hold on to that for a bit. It's only got 20 some thousand miles on it and I treat it like it's a queen. So that's it for this video, you guys. I am gonna go back on the record saying that if there was ever a time to invest in yourself, in your company, expand your business, make your dream come true, this is it. Do not hesitate, do not wait. The time has never been better. All of the indicators that I'm seeing as an entrepreneur and a businessman that have helped me survive being a contractor for 37 years now, all of the indicators have never been stronger to make a move right now. 
at this moment in time. Make your own dream come true, please and thank you. This is it, baby. It's not gonna get better than this. If you wanna go for it, absolutely go for it. And uh, we'll show you the next truck in an upcoming video. Alex actually has that one. That was, uh, this is Timmy's baby. Alex has his own baby. He specked out a bit different. And eventually I'll buy my own. But I'm still good. And I hope you're good. That's it for this video. God bless. Go get them. Catch you guys later. Yeah. Kaka! <laughs> Kaka! Kaka!